Are you an idle slob? Living on a diet of chips, burgers, chips, curries, pizza and chips. Uh. And kebabs. <laughs> Is your idea of exercise straining furiously for the TV remote control? <laughs> Do you long for a fit, firm, healthy body? <laughs> then what's the vessel brush show which will put such stupid ideas right at your head? Now give us a chip wash. <laughs> It's on sale in the foyer now. Ah, I love the smell of sausage in the morning. It smells of sausage. Ah, yes, indeed. The glorious aroma of the great British banger in full fat bloom. <laughs> ah, Miss Molly, just in time for brekkie. Fancy a fry up. Fry up? More like throw up. Just look at all that fat. Nonsense! A hale and hearty fry up is just the thing to set you up for the hard labour of the day ahead. And what hard labour would that be? Like deciding what to watch on the telly. <laughs> There's hundreds of channels to choose from these days. <laughs> oh. Hello. Kickstart your day with a bowl of crunchy Twiggos. 100% pure raw twigs. They're tremendously good for you. <laughs> You'd have to be barking to eat that. <laughs> barking. <laughs> Bend. And stretch. And then stretch. Then press. Then press. <laughs> He's right, you know. I feel better already. <laughs> Hi, Ooh. this is Healthy Harry saying welcome to Healthy Harry's Healthy World. Remember, a healthy world's a wealthy world. <laughs> On today's show, Robin here... Hi. ...is going to get us going with a gentle workout. Well, I'm certainly going to get going. Now on your back, chum. Why? I'm going out for a job with Ella. You have my deepest sympathy, you poor thing. <laughs> and give my condolences to Miss Ella as well. Honestly, a few miles around the park will do you good. You hope you burn off that fatty breakfast. No, no thanks. thanks. Actually, there's no need, as it looks like your fatty breakfast is burning off all by itself. Okay, let me see if I got that right. Uh, three double egg, sausage, bean, chip, chip, bean, bean, sausage, chip, chip. And extra sausage for you, Dave. Yeah, and a cup of your usual cold stewed tea, please, Anil. Do that again. Do what again? That. That's brilliant. I didn't even see you move your lips. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dave! What happened to you? You've gone all hairy. Yay, flaming cheek. <laughs> Anil, mm. Dave's over there. <laughs> yeah, and if it's not too much trouble, do you think you could see your way to bringing our nosh now? Yes, yeah, hmm? sorry, you're coming up. <laughs> Anil, the kitchen's the other way. It's the... No, it's the foggy weather. Can't see past my nose. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. It only encourages him. He'll be impossible for the rest of the show, no. Never mind his eyes. He wants his head tested. Yeah, yeah, that reminds me. Short-sighted man popped into the optician. You'll never guess who he bumped into. Who? Everyone. <laughs> boom, boom! I bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Now, top.
time for a bit of exposition, though the joke at the end is worth hanging on for. So join me same time, same place tomorrow for more Healthy Harry's Healthy World. Because remember, a healthy world's a wealthy world. <laughs> Today's program is sponsored by Cadwallader's Funeral Parlor. <laughs> everyday tale of Belgian folk in Ostenders. <laughs> well, another great show, eh, Robin? I'll just go and unblock the hair in the men's showers. <laughs> He's right. What I need is a nice tame TV star or two to get the ratings up and boost business. Oi, Robin. <laughs> got a little job for you. Oh? I was really looking forward to unblocking those drains. Someone's got to give a home to unwanted hair. Well, it made me laugh. Oh, this is ridiculous. An hour and a half we've been waiting. <laughs> Fancy starving to death in a flaming kef. Sorry. Ah, finally. It's mm. these specs of mine. Mm. At least, on a positive note, I can't see what I'm cooking. Hi, guys. How's it going? Ah, Mrs Molly and Ella. <laughs> I would love to exchange pleasantries, but I have other plans for my mouth right at this minute. <laughs> now, let me, let me grab. This is a medical emergency. <gasps> oh, 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 kidding. Oh, wait. This stuff. Oi! Oi! I'm sorry, guys, but we can't stand by and watch you do this to yourselves. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Quite possibly saving your worthless, no good lives. <laughs> Trust me, you'll thank me for that one day. <laughs> right, you up for another couple of miles, Molly? No problem. You guys don't want to join us, do you? Absolutely. Oh. We do not want to join you. <laughs> ha, ha, boom, boom. <laughs> so, how is Healthy Harry's search for a celebrity sucker going? Never heard of him. What's he do? The weather. On the radio. Well... Did the weather. A long time ago. Once. Yeah, don't tell me. It was raining. Chuck the bum out. I refuse to believe that there isn't at least one celebrity sucker out there. And cut to Basil. Is the coast clear? I don't know. I can't see any coast. In fact, I can't see anything with these specs on. Well, why are you wearing them, then? I thought they'd get a laugh. Let's face it, the show could do with a few. <laughs> <laughs> I've already told you lot. Now, nah, pack it in. Who are you hiding from, anyway? Molly and Ella. Or, to be more precise, a couple of monstrous health freaks who just so happen to look like Molly and Ella. Oh, right, yeah. Like in that film, zombie body snatchers from Basingstoke. Mm. They took over the whole town. Though I've been there, and frankly, I'm not sure it wouldn't be an improvement. Nice ring road, though. Anna, hmm. what are you talking about? I don't know. Shall I put my specs back on? No, give them to me, because I cannot believe what my eyes tell me is about to enter the calf. Dave, I don't believe it. What are you dressed like that for? The body is a temple, Stephen. Or in your case, two or three temples. Oi. <laughs> Oh, not you as well, young Dave. How could you have been suckered into this fitness malarkey? I'm doing a sponsored run. Ah, money. That would explain it. No, it's all for charity. T charity? Yeah, for unfortunate children. Unfortunate children? Yep. And I'm a child that, unfortunately, hasn't got any money. I'll put you down for a fiver. Each. <laughs> oh. See ya. <sighs> oh, well. Just you and me now, Mr. Stephen, holding the fort four square in the fight against the fit, as it were. Yep. You won't be seeing either of us in any stupid gym. Nah. Yeah, I mean, what possible earthly pleasure can anyone get out of making themselves all hot and sweaty? 
I don't know. Yeah. Can you imagine anything more ridiculous than all that flesh squashed and squeezed into a hanky-sized bit of elastic? Yeah. Just imagine. <laughs> I mean, all that beastly bending and sweaty stretching, all that unnecessary jigging about. <laughs> I mean, you could end up pulling something, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. Right, I'm off. Where are you going? Oh, to get a leotard, then down to the gym. Traitor! <laughs> oh, and if you think you'll be seeing me in a flaming leotard, I say think again. I have more dignity than that. Yeah, but think of the laughs you'll get. Let's just hope they've got my size eh? <laughs> <laughs> Boom, boom! <laughs> Take me to busy store. Hey, rather fit king, don't you think? <laughs> 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 Oh, are you sure that outfit's legal, Mr. Stephen? Shut up, Basil. It's all I could find. Hi. <laughs> My name's Robin. At a thousand quid a year, I'd say you certainly are. <laughs> boom, boom, hey. Robin, Robin. <laughs> oh, please yourself. <laughs> are you sure he's booked on the right show? Come on, Mr. Stephen. We are leaving. Uh, I'll take over here. Yeah. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Hi, guys. Let me introduce myself. I'm Healthy Harry, the owner of Healthy Harry's Healthy World. You might have seen my show on TV. Yep, but don't worry, the remote control was close by. <laughs> ah, Healthy World's a wealthy world. Yeah, we've seen the flipping price list. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> hey, those piggy eyes, the fake tan, the dodgy tash. Highly suspicious, if you ask me. Come along, Mr. Stephen. We are late for a hot date with a couple of curries. <laughs> and I just love your show. Why, I never miss it. Why, it's not often you get to meet a real comic genius from the flesh. <laughs> well, fur, I suppose. <laughs> the deep, natural tan. The handsome whiskers. The honest, forthright stare. Eight man after my own heart. <laughs> I wonder if I could trouble you for your autograph. Oh, of course, Mr. Healthy. No trouble at all. <laughs> but I'm afraid I left my ballpoint in my other leotard. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> if you'll just sign here, mm -hmm. here, and up here. Mm -hmm. Hang on. You want three autographs? Dip. Well, he's clearly a very big fan. Isn't that right, Mr. Healthy? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just on the dotted line, there's a good fella. Here. <laughs> hey, you don't think he's conning you into signing some hooky but legally binding and totally watertight contract to endorse Healthy Harry's Healthy World and to appear on his crummy cable TV show, do you? <laughs> What a vivid imagination you've got. And I must say, uh, uh, Stephen. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, that I think you're one of our brightest young comic actors and a real wide faced star in the making. <laughs> can I have your autograph as well? Of course you can, Healthy. As many as you like. <laughs> and here is your copy of the contract, all legally binding and totally watertight, I think you'll find. Signed not once, not twice, but in triplicate. In triplicate? Never been there. Is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> oh, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure, but it hasn't, so I won't. <laughs> anyway, must go. We have a show to do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Healthy Harry's Healthy World. And it starts right about now. <laughs> Hi, this is Healthy Harry saying welcome to Healthy Harry's Healthy World, where you, yes, you, can work out side by side with the stars. Like, uh, uh what's his name? Uh, Stephen. The name's Stephen. Hey, okay, whatever. <laughs> look at him go. Uh, I said, look at him go. Who 
throws this here. <laughs> oh, I don't think. I can hold on much longer. Why, if it isn't my old friend television's Basil Brush having a workout between takes. <laughs> Because it pays to remember. Do the line, Basil. All right. A healthy world, a wealthy That went well. <laughs> what do you mean? It was a disaster. Exactly. I mean, healthy Harry's hardly going to want us on his rotten show after that, is he? Hmm? Hey, that was terrific. The comedy angle's a winner. The phones are going crazy out there. Same time tomorrow, huh? You were saying... Oh, shut <laughs> up. You're late and we got a show to do. Can't we have just one day off, please? Uh, no. How about pretty please? How about pretty no? <laughs> all this exercise is killing us. Well, I'm certainly making a killing. Look at all these new subscriptions for me to sign up. And it's all thanks to you guys. Business is really booming. Or should I say business is really boom booming? <laughs> boom blinking boom. <laughs> now get to work. For today's show, you're in the swimming pool. Hmm? Oh, this just gets better and better. Now go get changed into your costume. <laughs> Bikinis? <laughs> now I draw the flaming bikini line at that. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Can I have the lipid skin? It's not that revealing, you know. <clears throat> the swimming pool scene has mercifully been censored on the grounds that there are some things. And take my word for it, Basil and Stephen in bikinis is one that you really, really don't need in your life. See through, Mr. Stephen. See through. Oh, it's years of therapy ahead for me. <laughs> What do you reckon then, Miss Ella? Well, there is a way to get out of this contract. There you are, Mr Stephen. I knew we could rely on Miss Ella for some good, solid, down-to-earth advice. So what have we got to do then? Die. Ah. You can't get much more down-to-earth than that. Yeah. <laughs> or... Tell me more about or. You could always move to Mars. Oh, this is hopeless. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm sure Basil will think of something. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Ella. <laughs> and that's usually where the trouble starts. You have to admit, she's got a point. Uh... <sighs> Go to fly or I'll miss my yoga class. Quickly, go, you must never miss. Uh, miss your class, you will. It's a yoga class, not a Yoda class, fair break. <laughs> well, Basil, any ideas? How much money you got? Don't know. Couple of quid, why? <sighs> Just wondering how much the train fare to Mars is. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> oh, well, that's it then. Still ham sandwich, uh, a cup of cold tea, please. Handel, oh. what are you doing here? Where's here? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I seem to have wandered into the wrong scene. Anil, you are a genius. I know. Thanks. Does that mean I have to give you three wishes? No, you plank. Just give me those stupid glasses of yours, will you? Mm. What have you got in mind? You'll see. You'll see. But hopefully, healthy Harry won't. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I don't know, mate, but it pays the bills. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here's the plan. Using these here ludicrous spectre goggles of Annals, we... 
Oi! Do you mind? It'll spoil the end for you. Now push off. <laughs> <laughs> These spectacles, Mr. Steve. What? Mm. Hey, if it isn't my two hunks and trunks, or uh, should that be sweeties in bikinis? <laughs> what can I say about that swimming pool thing, eh? Uh, the less the better, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, videos of it are changing hands for a small fortune. Yeah, a nice little bonus for yours truly. Ask nicely and I'll let you borrow one for a small charge. Uh, the only small charge I'd like to give you, Mush, is a stick of dynamite to be roughly inserted in your... Um... <laughs> Never mind. Sure, never mind is right. Now, get to work while I sign up some more soon-to-make-me-satisfied customers. Uh, with my own glasses, if you don't mind. You didn't think I'd fall for that old chestnut, did you? Well, frankly, we were rather hoping you'd oblige. You know the early bird that catches the worm? Yeah. Well, I ate that bird for breakfast. Speaking of. <laughs> No, you're going to have to do better than that to catch out old healthy Harry. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have your autograph, please? Certainly, darling. You're just too clever for us. You got that right. There you go. And one for me, please. How could we be so dumb to think that we could con you into signing a release from the contract? You can't kid a kidder. There you go, kid. Thanks. <laughs> Not just once. And, uh, one more, if you don't mind. Hey, I must be Mr. Popular today. <laughs> Not even twice. Uh, on the dotted line. But now, what's the word in... Triplicate. Healthy Harry now works for you, Basil. <laughs> Don't. Just time for one final episode of Healthy Harry's Healthy World, I think, with just a couple of little changes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Healthy Harry's Unhealthy World. Double egg, chips, sausage, chips and beans, all swimming in grease. Here's a surefire way to lose palms quickly. Try nails in edible food at exorbitant prices. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Haven't you missed a bum out? No, I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> I'm ruined. Oh, bang a banger in it, will you? <laughs> hey, it's not bad. No, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> Somebody call me an ambulance. You're, You're an ambulance. ambulance. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? I'm still a little pickish. Yeah, me too. I don't suppose you fancy joining me in a little midnight snacket, as it were? Huh? Go on, then, you twisted me arm. All right. <clears throat> Hello? Is that pizzas away? Yes. Good. A pepperoni and a Hawaiian, if you please. Quick as you like. Pepperoni pizza? <laughs> Four more, if you play. <laughs> and for the boy, I ordered a Hawaiian. Oh, <laughs> 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 look, extra pineapple. Nice touch. <laughs> Save a slice for me, love. <laughs>